but like you know, I, 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 you guys, you, you can explain what you guys' relationship is now. But like, when you guys were very cool, how did you rationalize that? Because to me, I I thought that yeah, he's a very brilliant guy in what he's saying, but like his lifestyle and the I don't even want to say vices, but his vices in trying to deal with his own, um, like you know, uh, uh, um, just how he feels about the world is that it's because he got he sounds smart you sound really well versed in the ideas of atheism his whole worldview is stemmed from the fact that god isn't real and when you don't feel any shame for what you do then anything all the floodgates open and the last conversation with him i asked him you know you don't believe in god oh god is he gonna bring up the was he is he really just clip farming me is he he's gonna bring up the uh thing again i think isn't he Let's see. Then, and you believe that all sex acts are okay because, like, there's no harm in it. I don't know how much you believe in God, but there's some Love. things that even that most people will understand, e even atheists, unless you're a, an extreme atheist and you're really well versed in explaining it. There's some things we understand are just wrong without any real justification. Like, you know, <laughs> if you have your dog lick peanut butter off of your. <laughs> there's nothing that's, it's not harming anyone. The My dog God. gets protein, you get your nuts licked, right? But most people will be like, yeah, that's wrong. You don't know why, but it's wrong. Because sure. there's things in, in the Quran that will say, like, obviously, like, this is not what we're, you're supposed to, you're just not supposed to do that. But when you have to defend <laughs> I like how he says things in the Quran, because he still hasn't gotten around to cracking open the book yet. <laughs> atheism to that extent, then you're not able to say that that's wrong you have to justify that all sex acts if there's no harm and even though there's another like um dude like that i don't remember his name starts with like a uh, voosh or something he was defending saying that uh sorry for saying that if you, you might have to bleep that but um cp is never morally wrong if it's not bought or sold if you're just watching it, then you're not harming anyone technically because nobody's gaining it, gaining any monetary value from it. So when you allow all types of degeneracy, that's what they've, they've said that. Like, and they will defend it. You can even ask them. They have defended this because oh, nobody's gaining monetary value. So there's nothing wrong with Destiny CP. Destiny does not, like, even... He will, if, if you press him about that, he will have to defend that because within the belief system of atheism, 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 I guarantee you. Because... Yeah, I, that, that was our last conversation. He said, it's okay, it's not harming anyone. Okay, what happened? So you guys were, and, and by the way, you put me on to him, and you made me want to, and I still want to sit down with him and, and like really like kind of talk about a lot of different. Press him about the atheism. Why did you guys fall out? Because he so because I go a lot. You put me now in like, and I've heard him. He, he spoke very endearing about me, and I know I like him. In, in how he tries to reason stuff, but I got to him through you, you, and I'm like, if you got to stuff, but I got- When I like react the first four minutes of this and then I do the rest later, do you think August, does August like cut them together? Or is August just like, I just got completely he doesn't do anything. What do you think? To him through you, and I'm like, if you guys aren't cool anymore- No, it's fine. I'm, I'm, well, I'm interested in why you guys aren't cool. Because, he was getting on a, a moral high ground about my character saying like, cause I, I think the most ideal relationship is within, you were making fun of it, but I think the most ideal relationship is within the mosque, is within the, the Islamic way, having a father marry off his daughter. And he's like, you would never be able to like find, like no dad's ever gonna marry his daughter off to you. I'm like, why are you gonna get on any type of moral high ground about me and what I'm trying to do based on everything you do? That's what kind of pisses me off is that he has the this, this sense of superiority when you're you in no position to be superior. Huh? You think he never took you serious? No, I, I think to some extent he did. Um, well, 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 I ask that because like, I, I've heard you guys have great conversation and, and this is your, to me, like you, you have a very invaluable trait of being malleable. I've told you that before, but <laughs> you've introduced me to these characters where they're, not necessarily all the way with you in what you think, but they'll push the conversation and you're always down to be a part of the conversation. That was Destiny 2. Like, Destiny's never been the yes, Sneeko guy. And, 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 and I thought you guys have like this mutual respect. I, I didn't like, I don't like the sense of superiority. 
and especially when because and this is how I had the falling out. It's like the guy left his kids to go play StarCraft in Miami. Like he left he is left his son to, to go play video games and, and do live streams and. Thanks. So you're going to be on a more high ground about me saying like no died whatever, but like you left and I don't like not to gossip about men, but it's it's more like a I guess a moral conversation. If you if you look at your life and what you've done and deciding to go play video games instead of raise your son, then you're not any in any position to. Yeah, exactly. Like you have a kid and you're going to be like no doubt whatever. Like you you have some sense of superiority and you and you're you're gaming in Miami and your your wife is running around. Your like he's on grind and your, your son's like in the middle of. It's not like. No, no. Oh we we were all friends. The, okay, well, look. I mean, yeah, 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 listen. The, I, okay, not to gossip about men. This is a nasty. Yeah, let me just. Yo, I believe in friendship and respect, and I thought that she was like, I thought y'all was trolling. Like, you guys seem, and and, and I've been around you a lot. I felt like y'all were way closer than even me and you, and I couldn't. I couldn't even bring myself to even like, even though there's no skeleton like really a closet like that. Um, what went wrong? Well, one thing I realized when I thought that, and this is a, a lesson I think. When, when it's you, really interesting his total inability to reflect on circumstances as well, if he, especially if you feel like he's not in the wrong. Like what went wrong? He's an atheist. He was on Grinder. He's I, like, what is the, is he jealous? Like, I'm so curious, like, what is the, like, he, his total inability to reflect on anything that's happened, like, Jesus. When you think somebody is your friend, you will defend them no matter what. Yeah. Like, you you will defend your friends, like, I, I defended the taste because Tristan tastes like, yeah, you're, you're my friend now. Like They're not your friend, bro. You've seen these guys two times. How are you that you actually think these people are your friend? You, you, you barely know these people. And now they're all, like, disowning you and calling you, like, goofy. Like... It's not just like a computer relationship, like I consider him a friend. So I'm going to defend him when he has everybody against him, when everybody's attacking him, when they have a, a case against him that is kind of illegitimate and there's a lot of lies within it. I'm going to go defend you. And then someone like him will be like, I would never defend you if that. I'm like, well, then you're not really my friend. If you will not defend me against something like that, knowing that there's all these attacks out there and they're trying to bring down men, then we can never. Trying then it's to just bring be, down men. Uh, oh an God. internet relationship. And why I think that. Um, you asked that question, like, did he ever take you serious? I think it stems from that as I've grown up on the internet, I've always looked for different masculine role models to listen to. There's been like all the types of online podcasters, comedians. I've looked at them for some sort of inspiration and to get some life advice and to learn from. But within all my conversations with Destiny, I never learned anything. I never took anything like, this is something I want to emulate. This is something that I can use in my life. This is something that I've learned. I could say that from a year of conversations, it's like nothing changed from talking. It's actually That's the opposite. True. <laughs> talking to him pushed me. I think for people like Sneeko, the things that these people are looking for is they're constantly looking for like the next scam, the next like one thing to answer like all of my life's problems. And I, you're not gonna get that from me. And I understand that for people that talk to me, it's a pretty unsatisfying thing because like people want like the one answer for everything. They want the one thing that solves all their life problems, but no. But that's why he bounces around from scam to scam to scam to scam to scam, right? From Red Pill to Trad Con to Muslim to from Patrick, uh, whatever the comedian is that convinced him to do the thing with his girlfriend to Zerka to f like, he's always looking for like the one answer. Is it the Matrix? Is it the is it Muhammad? Is it like, yeah, it's just from thing to thing to thing. So that's not surprising to me that he would think that way. Like him. So I've taken a lot of advice and I've learned from a lot of people. Cool with Destiny. I, I have a... I haven't learned anything from him. I have a sneaky suspicion that you realize something that I, I started noticing the more I've seen y'all do content together. I think you had a lot of admiration for him. A lot no. of respect. For, no, no, no. And I didn't have mutual respect for him. That's actually... If that's what he's going to say, that's fairly insightful. That could be a thing. Is that Sneeko was upset that the the streetway is saying that I little broed him all the time, but that like Sneeko might have had some respect for me, but it wasn't. It didn't feel very mutual, and that maybe upset him. That could be the case. I wonder if that's what Ak is about to say. I don't know why I just cut this off. I should let him finish. I think you had a lot of admiration for him, a lot no. of respect. For, no, no, no. Whoa, whoa, whoa. First, first willingness it, to engage in debate and conversation. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. In terms of friendship. And I, I think you've seen that it was definitely not reciprocated. Like, I remember just watching many different clips where it, like, obviously you had your own opinion and it felt like it was just a pile on 
on you. And, and I, th I think you went through a moment of saying, yo, y'all are trying to make it seem like I'm like the, the degenerate, but like y'all don't want to hold the mirror up to yourself. Mm -hmm. And and I, I guess that's where you're talking about like his lifestyle, and uh, and, and um, I thought there was a little bit of hurt in terms of just no. on a friendship level where, where you you would be like, hey, listen, if we're cool and I accept you for a lot of the general things I believe that you're doing, you wouldn't be trying to morally stand on the high ground when it comes to me. If you thought I had shortcomings, even if maybe I don't think those are shortcomings, and and see what you're saying, it, it felt like they were just trying to throw you, or he was trying to position you as this is Nico, the hypocrite or the bad guy, and it was one of those things you're like, no, no, because if we're gonna tell the truth, let's tell the whole truth, right? Like you know what I mean? I, I'm, I'm that guy too. Hey, if we're gonna tell the the truth, let's tell the whole truth. I always tell people, I'll expose me to expose you. Don't come over <laughs> here and just be like, oh, Ak is the bad guy. He does this and does that. But you don't really tell the truth about even yourself. Mm -hmm. and, and, and I think you got there. And you can tell me if I'm wrong. I think you got there and you, you were just like, this is not even a balanced and even like relationship worth keeping. I appreciate that, Destiny. All right. Bye. Remember to hit that like and subscribe and don't forget the notification bell so that my videos show up right in your feed.